All right, Shalom, my y'all. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect that teaches word not your favor and sincerity. <coughs> and yeah, today, um, I really ain't got no title for it yet, but uh, pretty much, um, I was looking up, you know, researching certain things, and uh, I ended up typing up Atlantis, you know, the lost city of Atlantis, which uh, Atlantis was known as that that utopia. Matter of fact, let me get that word utopia, because we we're about to we're about to return pretty much to that state, you know, um, uh, because. Uh, Lord is going to pretty much set us up as the measuring stick of what to be, you know, starting with Yahweh Shai, you know, with spirit is going to be the spirit and head, the, uh, the government. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. <laughs> um, because, um, that, that story of uh, Atlantis was pretty much a watered down Greek version, uh, of the flood, man, you know? But this is um this is um Revelations chapter fourteen and twenty. It says, And I looked, and lo a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. See? That Mount Zion, because that's we're gonna be the next government set up. Matter of fact, let's go back, let's go to uh Isaiah. And that lets you know. That this haven't came to pass yet, man. Because uh, uh, as you can see, it's still wickedness. Wickedness is still uh in the midst, and it's 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 actually is is a vibration that's put being pushed out to do wickedness, man. You know, the, the so called the so called Jew, the holy people, is in the land. Well, if that's the case. Why is, uh, you got these bundles of sticks? They got better jobs than we do, man. You know, than a a a, a, a real man will have, man. You know. But let's just get to it. This is Isaiah two and two, and it said, "Come to pass in the last days, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, meaning what, and shall be a exalted above the hills." And all nations shall flow into it, meaning, so that means um, we're going to be the top government, man. You know, I say all nations shall flow into it because they're going to have to come under our rule. Government pretty much means uh, mind control because it's going to be a certain vibration that's going to be pushed out throughout the planet Earth when the Lord returns and sets up the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, we, we're going to have to, we're, we're going to have to, be it in the other nations, the law, statute, and commandment, you know, and, and they're not going to get it. You know, I mean, they're not going to, um, they're not part of that new covenant. You know, they're, they're, they're going to still go off, you know, they're going to still go off, man, but they're going to learn the law, statute, and commandment. It's going to get to the point where, like, after they see Esau and that judgment, where he's about to get, you know, when they go back into their own lands, it's gonna it's gonna be periods where they're gonna they're gonna do what they gotta do, but they're gonna um also still go out because Chris said they're gonna if they don't come if they don't come up to the you know for the certain days that we're gonna send send a famine unto them, so they're gonna still go off man, you know. So this uh verse three said and many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mount of the Lord. To the house of the Most High, the power of Jacob, and he will teach us his of his ways. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. See? So that lets you know that um that this haven't happened yet. Oh, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you on. It says, And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. See, because these other nations, we're going to have to beat their ass, man. We're going to have to beat their ass. Beat the law, statutes, and commandments into them because they're they going to still 
Like I said, they're not part of that new covenant. They're not going to get the new bodies. They're not uh, going to be programmed with the law, statutes, and commandments in them. You know? It says, and they shall beat their plowshares into swords. I mean, they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn any war, learn war anymore. So, the scriptures, you, you you must have to throw away all the scriptures if if this are if if if, if the old uh, testament are uh, came to pass, because if done away with, that mean that means you got to throw away the scriptures, man. Because as you can see, it's still wars and rumors of wars. Hey, we still it's it's hey the missiles are still here, man. You know, come on now, but. Let's see. So, um, Utopia. That's pretty much. It says, Utopia. It says, uh, is uh, dictionary.com, just regular definition. It says, an imaginary island described in Sir Thomas' uh, Utopia. Sir Thomas More's Utopia, was that was a book. It says, as enjoying perfection in law, politics, etc. See? It says, an ideal place or state. Any visionary system or political or social perfection. See? We're about to return to that because everything is in chaos. Why? Because the wicked is in rulership right now, man. You know? The wicked is in rulership. And, and, and here's some... um some um definitions i mean some so like it synonyms for utopia paradise heaven eden see perfection why because uh the the next government that's going to be ruled is going to be based off the law statutes and commandments you know and that's pretty much uh what i want to touch on is because um you go into this this uh this um this story about the lost city of Atlantis, it was a, a a paradise at one point, but guess what? They went off, man. And guess what? Helm, it became it was a uh, pretty much a flood. The city was uh sunk pretty much. So um, I just want to get a little bit out of this article, and then pretty much I, I just just a certain part that I want to get. And then we're going back to the scripture. So this is off of mythology.net and uh it's Atlantis. So let's jump down. <laughs> let's jump down to this little sub sub uh it says what happened to the Paradise Island? It said it seemed as though the future of Atlantis and, and they all and these Edomites they be like, yeah, what happened to Eden? The Eden is the planet Earth. You know? That's the planet Earth, man. The one you read Genesis chapter 2 says the, the garden, the Lord put planted a garden eastward in Eden. That was talking about that garden, that was talking about Jerusalem. You know, because you uh you read Galatians the fourth chapter tell you Jerusalem is the mother of us all, man. So that was you see. So um that's pretty much the headquarters, you know, Jerusalem. But the whole planet Earth itself was Eden, man. That paradise land. You know, so it says, it seemed as though the future of Atlantis was incredibly bright and prosperous. However, as the years went on, problems began to arise. Atlantis was still the culturally rich and immensely wealthy island country that it started as. McGree began to arise in the hearts of the people. So, Atlantis was bright and prosperous. Why? Back then, because you, now, I mean, back then before the flood, you know, before we intermingled with the other nations, we were uh, prospering, man. You know, we we were that nation, man. We we was that nation, man. Matter of fact, uh, let's get this in um uh, in uh Genesis real quick. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, yeah, this is uh, Genesis 5 and 1. It says, This is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that the Most High created man, and the likeness of the Most High made he him. See? 
in the likeness of the most high meaning what we had that knowledge man we 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 uh, are because because the laws are perfect man it's laws how you supposed to deal with with the most high it's laws how you supposed to deal with your neighbor it's laws how you supposed to deal with with the di different animals the different herbs and the plants and the earth you know all these all these come into play man you know and that's how you prosper you go to Deuteronomy uh, 28, uh, 1 through 14. If you follow these commandments, you're going to be blessed. You know, and, and back then, we was, uh, only thing we knew was good, man. You know, but the scriptures had to come to pass. We, we had to, we, you know, we had to go through this, man. That dangerous. We had, it had to be a, a full circle, so to, so to speak. Uh, you read 2nd Ezra, the 7th chapter. We had to go through all that, you know, you know, go through this, you know, uh, reset this money. They got to be a falling away, all that, man. So we can appreciate the kingdom more. So it says male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. So the Adamites was that nation to, to, uh, to go to, man, you know, the Adamites was that nation. Why? Because we had... We was the image of the Most High. We 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 was that uh, the measuring stick of righteousness, man. You know. So going back to this article, uh, it says the greed is often said to have come when the gods began to intermarry with the humans living on the island. Now, what do you find is that in the scriptures? Let's go to Genesis six and one. You know, it said, and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they choose. See? And, well, they all say, well, what they got to do? You just, they call it the Nephilim and all. Well, no, man, it's because we, uh, by doing that, we fell away from the most high. You know, matter of fact, because that's that's one of the reasons that was the reason why Nehemiah was being fine Jake, man. You 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 look at the prophets and you 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 water the prophets down, but these were some real men and they are scrapped too, man. You know, this is Nehemiah chapter thirteen and um I started at twenty three. It says, in those days I saw saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod and of Ammon and of Moab, and their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod, and could and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. See? And that's why you read uh, Moses tongue like Moses was stuttering. No, he was slow of speech. Why? Because he couldn't speak fluent Hebrew, man. And that's that's part of uh being close to our power is the the pure language. Ze uh, what is it? Zephaniah three. I will turn turn it to a pure language. Well, that that's part of our heritage is the language, man. We are the Hebrew Israelites. You know, we ain't the uh the you know what I mean the um <coughs> what is the Yiddish? It, come on, man. We the Hebrew Israelites, man. We speak Hebrew, and we are the Israelites. We, you know, what I mean, we come from Eber. Was well, you know, we'll go back to Hebrew because he kept that, kept uh, the spirit of the Lord had where he he was the guy that was that was going to keep the language and keep the customs, man. You know, it says um, so the children uh, spoke the language of the other nations, man. And it says, and I contended with them, which means to fight. It says, and cursed them, and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by the Most High, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for yourselves. See? So he was being their ass because they was mingling with the other nations, man. And that's how we all, you read the book of Judges, man. You know? And the Lord said, you know what? Oh, read Ezekiel the 16th chapter. That's a lesson in itself, man. You know? It says, um, 
It says, Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet many nations that was yet many nations was there no king like him, who was beloved of his power, and the most high made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. See? Cause hey, that was that was the Lord. That's why the Lord came back and said, Is one greater than Solomon is here. Why? Because he went from the let uh, uh, a woman sway him off, take him off his squad, man. The Lord had a mission, you know. And, and, and you read uh, 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 First Kings the eleventh chapter. It, it, it points out that he was in his age, up in age as well, man. You know, and, and he didn't deal with Bathsheba for you, you simple niggas, man. You know, See, he looked at her like a slut because she was, she was a queen. So she had more than one husband, man. You know. But the point is, it says the outlandish women caused him to sin. And that's what happened when we intermingled with the other nations, man. You know? So um let's go back to that Genesis 6 real quick. Read this again. Genesis chapter 6 and 2. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they and they took them wives of all which they choose. See? So, uh, let's see. Continue on. It said, And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that also he is flesh, yet his days shall be in 120 years. And, and yeah, see? And that's why the Lord said he's going to make a new covenant. He's going to make, he's going to put his, uh, his laws and statutes in our animal parts, man. You know, because why? We was subject unto sin, man. These flesh, this flesh. You know, because you take you taking them as wives, well guess what? You're gonna um you're gonna fall out of those customs. You know? Wow. You 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 going you taking a trip to Michigan to celebrate celebrate Christmas and stuff, man. Well, because you 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 in love with that woman, man. You know, it says, um, there were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came to the daughters of men and they bare church unto them, the same became mighty men, which are of old men are now. Yeah. Cause that, that just, that's, they ain't talking about no, uh, how they, they, uh, how they put it as they, the, um, the angels came down and no, man. Well, it was the angels that left their first estate. In the chains of darkness. But they ain't talking about like Michael the archangel came down. Or, or, or they talking about the Satan and uh, a third of the angels. No, man. They ain't talking about that, man. I'm talking about the Israelites intermingling with the other nations, man. You know? And it says... um. It says, and, and the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And we in that time now, man. Because cause guess what? That's why the scripture said her sins have reached unto heaven. I mean, every possible wicked thing that you can do is being done at this time, man. And that's why the Lord, when he comes back, he this time he's going to cleanse the earth with fire, man. You know? So let's go back. <clears throat> to this um to this article because we're going to talk about the city being sunk so um it said the greed is often said to have come when the gods began to intermarry with the humans living on the island it is possible that sudden exposure of increased wealth and power bestowed on these humans made them hunger for more than what they need this greed caused them to look past their own country and seek to conquer lands uh, let's see. Okay, that's in that Greek mythology. Bull crap. Let's see. Okay, boom. It says Athens. They okay. They will woot woot this and that. Um, this is not the end of the story. However, it says Zeus became had become angry. Had become angered by the actions of the Atlanteans, and their attempts to conquer lands by far beyond their own. Because of this, he sent a series of earthquakes so great that Atlantis was sunk into the sea 
over the course of one day and one night. Now, uh, see, so, but we know that the Lord um, pretty much flooded the earth, man. You know, it was uh, it, it, it was the first time it rained, you know, and, and, and water was also coming out the ground as well, man. But the point is that we fell away from your house by a smell shot. And, and, you know, it, and it's a story about the floods one way because Atlantis, that was the, that was that, that was that, that was, the, that was the place, man. That, that was where you wanted to, um, uh, wanted to be at, you know, because it, they, they, a lot of people, uh, take it, uh, well, you know, take Atlantis for like an allegory because um, we just went into Utopia. It was saying an ideal state. We what would be the perfect uh, uh, society, man? You know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna return to that, man. The Lord, that's why we uh, read Isaiah the second chapter. We we coming to that state, man. That's part of the new covenant. You know, that's part of the new covenant, man. And um, matter of fact, let me get some dealing with those giants because um, to let you know, it wasn't talking about those um, no um, no 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 Satan and his angels dealing with the with the tears of man, man. Let's see, uh, bear with me. This is Wilson of Solomon. Uh, chapter 16. Is it 16? Bear with me, Akiam. Let's see. I don't know. Is it 16? Let me type it up real quick. It might be Ecclesiastes. Yeah, it is Ecclesiastes. Ah, uh, yeah, kind. This is Ecclesiastes. Um, chapter sixteen. And um, let's see. I started um four. Matter of fact. Okay, yeah. This, matter of fact, I start at the top. It says, Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons. Yeah, man. Don't don't deal with these other people, man. Why? Because it's, it's these other like these other nations and and two thirds of Israel have a different um, vibration about them, man. So don't deal with them, man. I said desire not, because guess what? Even though they might be prospering and all that, well, guess what? It's going to come to an end pretty soon. It said, though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with, be with them. See? Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude. For one that is just is better than a thousand, and a better and better is it to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. See? See, better to die without children. And that's why, like, it, okay, you got children now, you know, you know, Lord, Lord, may the Lord bless, bless you and your seed, man. But if you don't, don't plan on uh, ha having children, man. Why? Because of this society is going to, going to groom your child. One, to become a bundle of sticks, a monster, you know, all that, man. Because, hey, like we just said. Uh, Nehemiah was kicking their ass because they weren't speaking the Hebrew. They were speaking the language of the Moabites and the Ammonites. You know, it says, For by one that have understanding shall the city be replenished, but the kindred of the wicked shall speedily become desolate. And that's why the Lord was angry because wickedness was, uh, was, uh, without, throughout the earth, man. You know, it says many such things have I seen with mine eyes and my ear have heard greater things than these. See, now he's going to go into the things that he has seen, man. 
It says, And the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation, wrath is set on fire. See? Because at the end of the day, these Edomites' judgment is fire. And if you honor that vibration of Edom, you get it as well. It says, He was not pacified toward the old giants who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. Now, let's get this word pacified. Now, and how did these giant, how did the giants fell away in their foolishness? By uh, uh, pretty much turning to these other guys. That's the the the, 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 the that, that fruit that 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 fruit of, that tree of good and evil, man. That's you know they they end up eating the fruit of these other philosophies, man. You know, it says pacify. It says um. To bring or restore to a state of peace or tranquility, quiet, calm, to appease, to reduce to a state of submission, especially by military force to do. So the Lord, the the Lord wasn't um he wasn't uh, pretty much uh appeased. He wasn't he wasn't um uh calm or quiet. Uh, you know, that we fell with my foolishness. The Lord set down judgment, man. He flooded the whole planet Earth, man. You know. He flooded the whole planet Earth, man. You know. So that's those giants. We felt we had our foolishness, man. That's why the Lord was angry, because we was we was that we was that uh <coughs> we was that um. Uh, we we had uh what what you want to call it um responsibility responsibility of the state of the earth man. And once we fell away, the earth in its condition, it, it, it yeah I mean it was in a, a a bad state, and we see that now with Esau Edom. That's why he's getting fired. It, it was worse. It's worse now than it was before. This is days of Noah, but it's 2.0. This is the this is it right here, man. You know? But we we are going to return to to that to that, that perfect state. We're gonna we actually we're gonna cause cause scripture says, matter of fact, let me get that in First Corinthians. First Corinthians the fifteenth chapter. This whole chapter bad, man. Let's see, uh this is First Corinthians 15, and I started, uh, I started verse first 47. The first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven. That the first Adam and, and the second Adam was, that's, that's the same Adam, that's how was shy, man. That's your how was shy, man. You know? It says, As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are all they that are uh such are they also that are heavenly. As we have borne the image of the earthly. Salakia. It says, As we have borne the image of the earthy, we also bear the image of the heavenly. Meaning what? We're gonna have extraterrestrial bodies, man, because we're gonna we're gonna be pretty much uh, programmed. We're gonna be like robots with the laws, statutes, and commandments, man. In us, man, we're gonna be programmed with the laws in us, man. You know, it says um, and we it says now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. See? So, meaning what? We we need the new bodies, man. Because the kingdom is, is going to be an incorruptible kingdom. This kingdom is going to be forever and ever. Matter of fact, let's get that in Daniels real quick. Let's get that in Daniels real quick. Because the Lord set it up. Well, the, uh, the rulership of Esau, this is N.R. Be all man. You know? So, this is... Uh, this is Daniel chapter 2 and uh, 44. It says, In the days of these kings 
shall the Most High of Heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever, man. See, that's that utopia. You know? That's that that's that ideal uh state, you know, that, that perfect society, man. Why? Because starting with how was shy, you know, spearheading the government, man. Uh uh it said that a, a wise man a, a wise king, the city shall be inhabited. You know? So ain't ain't gonna be no reason for the most high to overthrow us anymore, man. You know? We just had to we had to fall first so we can appreciate uh the kingdom even more, man. You know. We wanna appreciate the kingdom even more. You read Saint Ezra the Sound chapter, we had to go through this this dangerous place so we can uh, uh you know so we can get to the kingdom, man. You know? So it says, um It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. See? We shall all be we shall not all sleep, we shall all be changed. And and and, and um and that's beautiful because even though, you know, when we face persecution, we hey, we had to take the guillotine, some of them had to die. Well it is what it is, man. You know, and, and you know, and that's the first step a uh, part of this truth, man, is is overcoming the fear of death, man. You know. Because Jake ain't really scared of that. They just scared. Of it. If they gonna feel it, what, what the scripture said is a, the death is called it. It's a sting, man. It's a sting of death, man. You know, but you get to the point where hey, you gotta do it because it's death. The scripture say death is better than a better life. What we at? We in a land of bitterness. So you, you know what I mean? You faced with death here in America, it's better than even being uh, having the life of an American, man. You know. But these these simple Christians, they pretty much they already got their mindset that they already gonna die. They hope is that they gonna go to heaven after they die. See, our hope is that we're gonna live forever. Our hope is that we're gonna see the downfall of our enemies and we're gonna be the next rulers of the planet Earth and we're gonna be immortal. You know, matter of fact, continue on. It says, in a in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. See, that's, that's the new covenant, man. Why? Because we're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments when the thine am parts. Because the law, statutes, and commandments, that it, it, you follow those law, statutes, and commandments, you're going to live past that day. That one day, that that thousand years, that hey, that's immortality, man. We're gonna we, even though we're gonna live forever, I ain't saying like after a thousand years now, now you die, but we're gonna live forever, man. Why? Because we're gonna have the law, statutes, and commandments within us. See, it's gonna be natural. Uh, let me get that in Ezekiel. Let me get that one in Ezekiel. It's gonna be natural for us to do the. To uh, follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Let's see if this is it. Yeah, kind. Of. This is uh, this is um, Ezekiel chapter eleven, and um, in verse nineteen, it says, "And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh." And give them a heart of flesh. See, what's a stony heart? Uh, is that is the because it, it was written on tablets. We had to go, all right. Because because hey, the scripture said, um, the Lord is gonna. If you didn't know that law, you still gonna get it, but you ain't gonna get it as bad because you didn't know it. But guess what? It the Lord is gonna put the the, uh, the law standing command within our inward parts. It's gonna be so natural, like breathing. You know, it, you don't think about breathing. Unless when you start thinking about it, and then the Lord, you know what I mean, start taking your breath away from you, man. But the point is, it's going to be natural for us to do the law, statute, commandment. It says that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinance and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be, and I will be their power. See? 
See? So and and that's that's what we're gonna that's what we kind of into, man. A utopia, uh, 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 that ideal state, that perfect society, man, or that that lost city of Atlantis. Well, you send um Jerusalem, uh, 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 the house of David being built, man. That's that that's that. Those are the uh the next uh rulers. Or that, or that, or that, that utopia that's returning, that, that, uh, that's coming, the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? So, yeah, I can, man, I just hope they were edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kakodash, double honors to the positive and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect that she's wearing our true favor and charity, DTA, Abba, Abba, and Shalak, Rayam, to everyone that's not of the elect. And with that, Shalom.